Often users would like to create a window in the surgical guide to make sure it is seated properly in the patient's mouth. However, it is often done incorrectly. If the surgical guide is cut, as I'm doing now, you'll see that we're gonna encounter the problem that the part of the surgical guide that's behind the part we wanna cut gets cut as well. Essentially, the cut tool will cut any part of the surface in the area that we just circled. And we could see the result of what we just did. As a result, what a user sometimes tries to do is to rotate or pivot, such as we have it now, so that there's no second part of the surgical guide behind the first part and then they perform the cut similar to what we are doing now. The result of this is now we have the walls with a steep angle because the surgical guide was pivoted and we have cut away parts that we do not intend to cut. A better approach is to cut from the inside out. First of all, you create the transparency of what you would like to cut on the surgical guide. Of course, always make sure that you have the correct surface active so that you are cutting the correct surface. And then you could go ahead and perform the cut, seeing where the tips of the teeth are and not needing to be concerned that you're cutting any part of the surgical guide that you do not want to be cutting. And here we could see that we've gotten a much better result. Another option is to flip over the surgical guide and once again cut from the inside out. Here you'll have a higher level of accuracy and you won't need to be concerned with many of the issues that we mentioned earlier.